Hey guys, it's me, Julie, and my hair is all over the place. Okay. Hey guys, it's me, Julie, and that's okay. <laughs> so, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I have not been uploading favorites videos for the months of like March, April, um, what comes after April? May and June because I just have been really busy and I haven't had time to like sit down and film favorites. And I wasn't even sure if you guys liked favorites videos, so I was like, okay. Maybe I'll just cut out favorites, but then I felt guilty. So what I am doing is having a huge spring favorites video. And it's not even just like things that I just liked in spring, but it's things that I liked in spring and will transition into summer, which starts June 21st. And yeah, I just have a lot of stuff. Some of it's beauty stuff, some of it's like skincare and just, okay, you'll, you guys will see later, but it's just a whole lot of stuff. So, going into the video, here's the stuff I loved in spring. Okay, so for skincare, I have been loving my Clarisonic Mia, and it's a light pink color. I wish it was charged right now because then I could um, show you guys how it works, but like you just press the button. It ran out of battery last night, unfortunately, but I use it at night once a day because night's only once a night. Okay. <laughs> um, and I use it to exfoliate my face. What am I doing? Okay. I use it, it's part of my skincare routine and I saved up my money to buy this because it's a little bit on the pricier side, but it's definitely worth it for me because I find that my skin is softer when I use it. And on top of that, like it's a lot less polluted with little pimples, if that makes any sense. Like it's not like I get little teeny pimples all over the place anymore. It makes me feel good to use it. It's also very relaxing to use it. And I just have been loving this little guy. I got it in April. So if you guys really want to invest in a good beauty care product for your skin, buy this. I would just only use it once a day because it does exfoliate your face. Over exfoliation is a bad, bad thing to do. <laughs> My Mask of Magna Minty by Lush. Why did I just forget their name? This mask is my all-time favorite skincare mask, as you can tell by the fact that half of it's already gone. And if you were to only use one mask or exfoliant for the rest of your life, like, I would use this. This is holy grail product right here because I use it once a week and I can see a visible difference in my face when I take it off. I'm not even kidding, okay? It gets rid of all the dead skin cells so your face looks 10 times brighter when you take it off. And then on top of that, it feels smoother and it just looks better. Like I put this on when I start breaking out and it stops the breakout. It's amazing. I love this to death and I use it once a week. It overrules my other masks. I cannot rave about this enough. Sorry. Um, and it is, I want to say 20 ish dollars. So if it's not in your price range, they sell smaller ones which can be a little bit cheaper so you could try it out or you can always ask them for a sample but I highly recommend this to you guys. Moving in to beauty favorite, I've been really loving these two lipsticks together as like a combo. This is the Too Faced lip cream thingy, I forget what they're called but it looks like that and I love the color so much. It's like a nude kind of pinky color and it's in the color Naked Dolly. And I don't like wearing this by itself. What I do is I pair it up with this color, which is a lip gloss cream again by Laura Mercier. And it is in the color Bare Naked. And it's a really, really pretty like Bare Naked color. I love these colors paired together. They look absolutely stunning. They're really on trend for this season with the um, nudie colors. And this one I like to wear by itself, this one not so much. I just, together, they're like a power duo, and they both smell awesome, so I taste it a little bit, you know? This is more of a drugstore lipstick. It's from Rimmel. I always mispronounce that, sorry. But it's Rimmel, the Kate Moss edition, and it's in the shade 08, and um, it's so pretty. I use this in my Kylie Jenner makeup tutorial. I'm obsessed with this color. It's like the most natural, pretty looking color ever. And I'll just do a quick swatch for you guys. I really love how like, it's so, you know, toned down. And I've been loving it for spring and I'll definitely be using it in summer because I like lighter colors for spring and summer. So I have been absolutely loving um, why do I keep, I keep saying the word loving. I'm sorry, I just love all these products so much. This is the It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In product. I did feature this in my January favorites way back when. It's like half, more than halfway done already. This is my lifesaver. I like to pair it up with my Nourishing Coconut Oil. 
This is from the brand OGX, and this is like a drugstore brand. You can get it for like six bucks, I think. These two together are a power duo for my hair because I will spray a little bit on the ends and then a little bit on the top to make it shiny and it repairs my like split ends. I have not seen any split ends in my hair and I've not cut it in like two months. I know that's not healthy but sh <laughs> I'm so weird, okay. <laughs> Plus this one smells like coconuts and I love coconuts so you know, that make, that works really well with me. Beyond beauty favorites, my personal favorite part. Um, I have been loving this mug. Can we just talk about this for a sec? It looks like it's from, um, no, it doesn't look like it's from, it's from Monsters, Inc. And it's cute little Mike Wazowski here. I love it because it's like ginormous and I like to drink a lot of tea so I won't waste a tea bag. This is like the perfect size for me, even though it's like huge. Plus it's like, Come on, like, it's so cute to look at. I got this at Disneyland when I went back in April, so this was a very good investment for me. Once again, why am I pronouncing my words so clearly? That's really odd. Okay, these little shorts. They are pajama shorts. I was actually wearing them this morning. I had to take them off for this video, but I don't, it's not that I don't like the design, but what I like about it a lot is that they're so fuzzy and I'm obsessed with anything fuzzy. Oh my goodness. These pants are just, they're like fuzzy socks for your booty and I just love them so much. Okay, so this candle is Lavender Vanilla and um, it's from Bath and Body Works, of course, and it smells so good. I want to spread it all around my room and just have my room smell like this nonstop because I cannot emphasize how much I love how this smells. I used to buy the mini ones. I have it nonstop burning in my room, like it's, it's not even done yet because I'm kind of scared to burn my candles. but. God, it's, if you don't buy this, at least go into the store and smell it because it smells so good. The Boy in the Striped Pajamas by John Boyne. I think I pronounced that correctly. I have only like halfway read through it so far because I recently just started like two days ago. <laughs> but I like how this book is written and I like the storyline of it so far. And this is one of the only books I've been able to have time to read in the month of spring because school was very, very hectic and I don't have much time to read free reading. And I know a lot of YouTubers are liking audio audiobook now. I think that's what it's called. I, I feel kind of like hesitant to go into that trend because I like reading, like reading, reading. I don't want to listen to someone reading to me, only because I feel like that's kind of unorthodox reading. I don't know, I'm just a really like, I feel like an old librarian, like, oh, you shouldn't be reading like that. I mean, I'm not shunning people who read like that at, and under any circumstances, but I've just always been the kind of person who likes to curl up in the corner and like smell book pages and just, you know, I'm weird. I've been liking the storyline and it's a bit sad. I mean, it's really sad. I'm not gonna lie. It's not a bit sad. It's pretty like depressing story, but I like, I mean, I'm obsessed. I'm not, I don't just like, I'm obsessed with books that have to do with like World War II or like 1940s. Like I just love that time period for some reason because I just, I get really excited about historical stuff. So I like reading books within that era a lot. So I've been reading this. And then another book that I've been loving, it's the beauty book by Lauren Conrad. This book has so many informative, like, okay, it's really heavy, but this book has so many informative tips. And let me just show you a quick glimpse. It just has like all of these cool things and tutorials in here as to how to do things. And it helped me a lot with like figuring out how your skin works, how your hair works and how everything just kind of flows so I would recommend this book if you are needing a summer read and want to learn a little bit more about your beauty yourself so that about concludes my favorites for the springtime time um I hope you guys enjoyed them be sure to check them out and let me know how you guys like them if you do go out and check them out and make sure to follow my social media accounts at Julia Martinez for Insta and then at Julia XO Martinez for Twitter and let me know if you guys try them on there too. Make sure to follow my beauty blog too by the way. It's going to be called Julizette and I will be announcing a little bit more about that later on in this week but I will link it below as well. Other than that have a great day and I'll see you guys later. Bye!